It's live with Regis. Today, the star of Survivor, Richard Hatch, gives us 101 survival secrets. And straight from the ER, it's Nurse Abby, Maura Tierney. Plus, this mother of four from Detroit gets an emergency makeover you won't believe. All next on Live. Everybody, it's a Wednesday, November 15th. The sun came out after a gloomy day here in New York City, and Kelly Arippa just walked into the studio to tumultuous applause. How about a nice Thank head? You. Of all my children. Yeah. Thank you. I just uh, flew in last night from uh, Walt Disney World. That's right. You had the big uh, the soap, soap weekend. Super soap weekend. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was. Uh, you know, I have to say hello to Robert Spiller and Ann Cullen. They were our DSAs who were. People who really, um, their whole job is to sneak you in the front of the line, so you don't have to. Yeah. No, if you work for ABC, you get that. Did you get that? I down had there? that for years. I You're to... huge down there. I used to do the the Christmas and the Easter right. parades there, and who was my guy year after year, Gelman? Timmy. 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 What was his last name, Gumba? Do you remember? I just knew him as Timmy. Timmy, Timmy. was there, I think. Timmy was there, yeah. Timmy, Timmy was, was the greatest guy in the world. But it always embarrassed me because we didn't have a lot of time, and they right. do have to take people into side doors and ahead of those poor people waiting in line hour after hour. I have a three-year-old son. I didn't care. <laughs> well, it made me feel bad and very guilty. Oh, stop it. <laughs> But didn't you, um, uh, did they see you walk in? Uh, no, we, we, I, I'm such a coward, I completely yeah, snuck in. Yeah, there you in. go, see what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I snuck in baseball cap, I didn't want anyone to know it was me. <laughs> yeah, Save you do, the hate mail. <laughs> you do feel guilty about it. No. So it was a nice weekend? It was, everyone was lovely. I have to tell you that there's always that one fan, and they are so supportive and so wonderful. They come out in droves, they really do. Heat, rain, snow, it doesn't matter, they're there. And um, there's, but there's always that one fan that leaves you with, I like to call it the, the pearl of wisdom fan. This year, a woman came up to me in line and said, I just had my little girl, I named her Haley after your character. My brother-in-law said, what you gonna name your daughter after some bimbo on a soap opera fur? <laughs> I think she got it pretty good. And my whole response was, oh. <laughs> that was my whole comeback. I mean, all these witty comebacks I have, I couldn't think of anything Nothing, but... Huh? Oh. What was, uh, you know, you did a couple of days here and you got a lot of nice yeah. reaction. What was the reaction over on your set? Oh, it was huge. Susan Lutz, you want to scratch your eyes she up? She did. She attacked me in the hallway. I'll well, bet she was upset. She was beating me over the head yeah, with her Manolo yeah, Blahnik shoe. I know shoe. you're trying to kid around here. She said, don't get any ideas, Regis is my... You know, she named a perfume... After, after what I named her, yes, named her? La Lucci. La Lucci. Yeah, La Lucci, right. Isn't that amazing? And your husband, what do they have to say? He said, you're pregnant. <laughs> That's right. She announced her pregnancy on our show here. Yeah, he, people everywhere. Well, didn't announce it. Actually, it came up it because came up we have because Char the Psychic the, Char here the psychic. who read it. Read me. Uh, a lot of people thought that maybe we rehearsed that no, backstage, and I had never rehearsed seen her before show, she please. walked out here. You it's know true. Better. If you've been watching this show, you know it ain't rehearsed. There's no rehearsal here. <laughs> she walked out and said, "Oh, you're pregnant," which I was. I like to wait until I'm further along, you know, than than what I was, and uh, so I have people everywhere congratulating me. Well, what are we going to do about it? Because the, the people over at uh, all my children didn't know either, and no. now here's you know we're working out actress in a plot line there. What are they going to do? Are they going to kind of tailor the I, plot to... I hope so. Yeah. I mean, I think the writer started, you know, scribbling <laughs> down things and she's pregnant. Oh, and, gosh. You know, get, because last last time I was pregnant, they didn't write it into the story. Yeah. They just buried me alive in a cave because I got so fat. <laughs> Is it safe for her to come out? Somebody go in and look at her. You know? I literally, I mean, if you saw below my eyes, you knew I was pregnant. Uh -huh. So they, they're, they're response to that was, we'll just bury you bury up. Bury her alive. <laughs> and it was great. It was, well, yeah. I'm expecting big things. Are you? And I, I can't see a thing yet, but... <laughs> I know, you, you can't. As a this will be Kelly's looking, second 
Second, second baby, yeah. Second baby, yeah. Do we know? Are we, are we no. Good? No, we don't know. I mean, we don't. I mean, I know I'm pregnant. No, I know that. <laughs> Boy or girl, we don't know. No, that. and no. I don't I don't like to find out. Good. I like to be surprised. That's great. You know, I think it's, it gives you, it makes the pregnancy mm. shorter somehow. All right, well, there's a lot going on in the news. Of course, let's just um, Election pick the, stuff, right? um, What's going this on? young lady down there in uh, Florida, Catherine Hughes, the Florida Secretary of State. Yeah. The uh, judge said that she can uh, have the final say of the vote, so the news headline is, she can pick the president. And look at, look at the picture they use of her face. I well, mean, it's the same on. picture the Post used, and she says Bush. So... Bush! <laughs> These people look unpleasant on purpose. Bush. <laughs> look at her. She happens to be a very right attractive here. woman. I've seen her on TV. But look at this picture. She looks like her brother Stan. <laughs> Gilman, uh, we could have a problem here. <laughs> Anyway, that's the latest in Florida. Gilman uh, in Election Central over there, manning the computer to give you the very latest. If we're still on the air, or is somebody... Uh, no, we're still on the air. Are you sure? Because Nothing news every happening. day this week, somebody's been on saying, what an election... You know, a news person, what an election we had. Did you hear about it? That's all we've heard about! <laughs> People want to relax and get away from that count and recount and whatever it is going on down there. You hear what they said on, on Good there. Morning America this what? morning? According to the Constitution, if it's a dead heat, if it's a tie... Are you ready for this? The candidates have to draw straws. <laughs> really? I thought it went to Congress or something, House of Representatives. Draw straws. Why not, we were saying backstage, why not chicken wrestle? We'll get <laughs> Lieberman on top of Gore and Cheney on top of Bush and just get, put them in a pool. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think what we got here is a pay-per-view television event. <laughs> Gelman, set it up. You got it, we big money in that. We'll do it right here. <laughs> Here in New York, they're unveiling Madame Tussauds um, Wax Museum, you know, yeah. the very famous one over in London. And I guess they're in various places around the world, but New York gets its opening tonight, and I will be among those being unveiled. They brought my head in yesterday, and you know, everything was pretty good. Uh, they, they measure you inch for inch. Everything on your body is really? measured. Really? Honest to God. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah. Do tell. <laughs> Did they run out of wax? <laughs> yes. No, uh, incidentally, if you must know, they ran out of tape measure. But anyway, <laughs> uh, here we go. So, uh, for some reason, George Steinbrenner's head was in there with mine yesterday. And uh, so I picked George's head up, and here we are together, George and me. Now, this is in Look at the size of George Steinbrenner's head. He's got a huge head. I didn't know the boss had that big a head. <laughs> what a head the boss has got. I want to hold it folded? Yeah, forward. Oh, okay, it's closer, all right. That's why it's bigger. There you go, okay. No, but go, but look at my head in relation to Steinbrenner's head. That's a big head. Now, Steinbrenner's got a big head. Well, you know what they say. <laughs> big head, big hat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've heard that, yeah. And George must have a big hat. <laughs> Good guy, believe me. And one of the reasons the Yankees are champions year after year in baseball. Okay, so that's going on tonight, 7 o'clock on 42nd Street. Big deal going on there. That's exciting. It is exciting, You have yeah. to be huge and legendary to get a wax... Huge, thing. huge is enough. <laughs> <laughs> the legend huge. follows the huge. You could be a living legend. That's what you are. I am a living legend. I, I like you this time around, I'll tell you. You're a nice little girl. But I, So what do we have going on here? Oh, you know who we have on the show tonight? Gilman, can I bring this up? Sure. Yeah, okay. Uh, Richard Hatch, you know, the, the king of the survivors, the million-dollar winner. Uh, here he is. Here's his book right over here. But do you know... He's being made up right now, Gilman? Yeah, Is he in the chair? Okay, yeah. let's go to the chair and see Richard Hatch being made up. <laughs> oh, my God. Is, uh, is Michelle going to be all right back there? Can he hear me, Gilman? Can he yeah, talk? Can talk? Well, what's the microphone, microphone clip to? We don't need a clip. 
Hi, Richard. How are you? Great, Rich. How are you doing? Nice to have you back here. Thank you. We're going to learn about all the survival secrets and how you can make a million dollars and all the things that have made you Richard Hatch, right? Looking, looking forward to it. Yeah. Are you having a hot time back there with our makeup lady, the beautiful Michelle? Isn't she wonderful? Yes. <laughs> That's what she's saying about you right now. <laughs> All right, Richard, we'll see you in a few minutes, okay? See you soon. All right, thanks, pal. That poor girl's gonna run out of foundation. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is this show sunk into new lows? Sorry. Yeah, I, I don't sorry, understand I'm it. Here. Kelly Ripper here 10 minutes, and we're plunging downward. I'm sorry. Like every other piece of slime on television. <laughs> It's a dirty job, but somebody's yeah, got to take you there. Yeah, somebody's got to do it. It's the right job. <laughs> now, you know that uh, we have, uh, you have right here at the right time because we have emergency makeovers this week. Yes. These are the extreme makeovers. People have volunteered because they can't do anything with their hair, with what their look is. They come to us, and we make them over. Let's just review, Kelly, in case you missed the show. Okay. On Monday, Lorraine <gasps> White from Deltona, Florida. That's the makeover right there. Wow, that's dramatic. On Tuesday, Joyce Deloche, Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. And, uh, you know, while we're at it, take a look at this one. Here's Kelly Ripper 10 years ago and what she looks like today. <laughs> There's Kelly Ripper. Let's see the... Look over there, Kelly. We'll get a split screen. That's a makeover, pal. That's a makeover. It took wow. a team of experts 10 years. Boy, oh boy. Well, look at all that hair, Kelly Ripper. Well, that was a wig. That was when I was playing oh. Haley the punk rocker. Oh, all right. And so they made me wear a wig because but I guess know? all punk rockers wear wigs. But I think you got the exact the right color hair for your face, eyes, you know, the whole thing. It's you, perfect. You yeah. mean then or now? Oh, no, right now. Right now. Yeah, right now. You're about as good as it gets. Thanks. <laughs> Today, we have Greta Ruba here from Detroit, Michigan, who sent us this picture, wrote us a letter, said she wants to have a makeover. And Greta, you're next, so get ready, okay, Gilman? We got the ambulance on the way to pick her up. She's a very beautiful woman. Lovely woman, but wait till you see. We're going to make her over, give her okay. the full routine around I don't think you. she needs much work. She's very beautiful. You know the what's up guys on TV? Yeah, what's Guys up? who say, what's up? <laughs> Can you do that? What's up? Says that. Do it. What's up? No, I you gotta not... drop your tongue. What's up? What's up? <laughs> it's crazy, but these guys have got a development deal now with Paramount Television. They're gonna have their own sitcom. So well, we had them on the show right after that commercial hit and was real big. And Boy, we wish... just it takes a gimmick, doesn't it? Yeah. That, well, sure. Well, this you're is the, the king of that. <laughs> <laughs> really? What's my gimmick? show, the, the tie, the oh, shirt, the, clothes, the tie, yeah. the shirt, the well, jacket. Right. It's show business. Every little bit helps. Thanksgiving weekend, are you going anywhere? Anybody coming to see I you? I am. I'm going to be in the Philadelphia Thanksgiving Day Parade. Oh, are you really? Yeah. Well, good for you. Well, you'll probably drive down there, you know, yes. in an hour and a half, yeah. but the, tele the uh, airlines travel is going to be exceptionally heavy. It's going to break all airline holiday records this Thanksgiving, mm. the weekend preceding and of course, Thanksgiving Day. So be prepared for that. That's just a nightmare. And the Queen has had enough of mobile phones, thank God. Good for her, you know? How would you like to have be surrounded by servants and all of their mobile phones going off? And the call isn't for you. It's for them. So she banned mobile phones. From the palace? Exactly. The palace? Is that what <laughs> well, From her servants carrying. And here's the story that really broke Elman up today. They had a wedding over in Italy. Yeah. Lecco, Italy, and an Italian bride was showered with rice, you know, after the uh, ceremony yeah. on her way to the car. <laughs> and a little grain of rice got in her ear, and she had to go to the hospital. See? I, that, I'm like you. I didn't laugh at all. Gelman on the floor, <laughs> screaming. It's the funniest story he's ever heard. Well, I hey. said, Gelman, this is not a funny story. This woman had a grain of rice in her ear. The wedding, you know, I mean, it was a happy moment, and all of a sudden, her life changed. On the floor. <laughs> It's on the delivery range. So, it was probably okay. like risotto. It was probably cooked it's, rice with some sort of sauce that got stuck in there. You know, you know um, I have a big announcement to make, too. Oh, no, you're not pregnant, are you? No. <laughs> I no. can only take so much. Yeah, so can I. But anyway, uh, should I make it now, Gelman? Should I make this? <laughs> uh, 
It's, um, it's a, uh, an, an announcement that involves a life-changing uh, scene, really. And uh, gosh, it's, it's tough even for me to tell you this, but if you really want to know, uh, okay, I promised last week I would make the announcement. Can I have a drum roll? I think it deserves a drum roll. There you go. Okay, lower the drum. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> Is that all we could afford, Gilman? <laughs> Here's the announcement. Gelman's going to be a father. <gasps> He and the beautiful Lori are getting a little puppy in the house. <laughs> no, they're gonna have a baby. Yes, Lori is expecting a baby. Congratulations. Thank That's you very wonderful. Much. Yeah, we're very That's happy. Really Didn't know you had it in you, Gilman. Yeah, well, it was a surprise to me, too. Yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> and a big surprise to Lori. Yeah. When are we expecting? Uh, end of April. End of April. Yeah. So it's gonna be like a... Oh, uh, so, so soon. You Aries, know. baby? <laughs> Aries? Uh, I'm not up on that. Is no, that what it is? Yeah, Aries, well, yeah. Aries, I think. Yeah. And do we know, or are we going to say right now, do we know what the baby is? Boy, girl? Uh, she, Lori hasn't told me yet, but uh, she's going to reveal to me. We just got all the results, and so, yeah. <laughs> the fathers are always the last to yeah. know. You understand that? I know. Why? why? She's yeah, going to reveal who the real father is. <laughs> Right, all the medical so tests come through. We're gonna make sure. <laughs> so, oh, Gelman, when do you think she'll deign to tell you? No, she's gonna tell me. Oh, she's gonna yeah. tell. You. Yeah. And then maybe yeah, we're gonna time. know. We were thinking about whether we wanted to know or not. And yeah. You okay. can get Shar yes, the psychic we'll back here. She'll That's true. Right right do that. Any predictions? Well, they say that the dominant one uh, of the in the relationship is the one that usually determines the sex. So it's gonna be a girl as long as. <laughs> Be a girl. I, uh, I thought you were the dominant one in their relationship. Well, I am the dominant one, but uh, <laughs> no, between the two of them, Gelman has changed. In the beginning, it was Gelman. It was all Gelman. Lori sat back quietly, patiently, seven years, <laughs> took him strutting around like the king he is. Now it's all changed. <laughs> now he walks behind her. <laughs> Marriage does that to men. Beats them down. Oh, really? Look at these men's faces in the audience. Yeah, not a single. They're all beaten down. Well, you're absolutely not a right. Not smile. It, no. <laughs> I love it, it changes a man for life. So, Gelby, congratulations. We're Thank thrilled about much. that. That's it's going to be terrific. And to Lori, too. And you'll tell us, you'll tell us, of course, as soon as you know what it's going to be so that, you know, we can get all the gifts in order. Okay. Thank you. More gifts. That's just what we need. <laughs> just finish with Before all the we sign gifts. off the air, we'll probably get the, the sex right in front of me. <laughs> Did you say gifts? Laurie, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's big news. That's great, Gilman. All right, so are we ready for trivia? Come on, bring it down. Let's go. like our own Disney World it's here, isn't it? It's such a high-budget show. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's really amazing. We're adding a new prize to the wheel today, too. Allegro Resort and Casino in Aruba. Oh. <laughs> beautiful Aruba. They got the most beautiful sand there on their beaches in Aruba. You know that pearly white sand? Anyway, Allegro Resort, we welcome you. Thank you very much. And let's go to the phones. Uh, and here's Tina Rossi from uh, Farmington, Michigan. Hi, Tina. Hi, Regis. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Tina. How are you? Great. Congratulations on your upcoming baby. Thank you very much. And what about Gilman's baby? And congratulations, Gilman. I'm sorry I didn't get to him yet. And Lori has something to do with it, too. And Lori, yeah. too. Yes. Gilman goes without it's, saying. It's great. You're going to love having a spring baby. Yeah, Tina, you have a six-month-old daughter, yeah? Yep, Delaney Rose. Oh, Delaney nice. Rose? Yes. Gilman, that's another thing we got to get involved in. Names. Naming the baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, and I've happened to like that. Delaney Rose Gelman. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, that's got a nice uh, ring it's to got it. a nice ring to it. Gelman, think about that. I'll consider that. Thanks. <laughs> All of a sudden, Gelman is very bored with this topic. <laughs> He's giving me the <laughs> Delaney Rose. That's a nice name. And how is Delaney Rose this morning? Oh, she's napping right now. She's she's fabulous. 
Oh, that's nice. First baby? Yes. Ah, what yes. a thrill, huh? What does your husband do? Um, he's an engineer. For? Um, a company called System Controls. Of course, it would be called System Controls. What else? <laughs> well, that's good. So, um, did you watch Millionaire last night? I watched part of it. I watched it when Drew Carey was on. Oh, yeah. Poor Drew went down. I was disappointed. He did so well last time. I know, but that was a very tough question. I know. Uh, I thought it was unusually tough. The yeah. fear of, uh, what was it, audiences? Oh. Fear of something. What is it, Gilman? Fear of? Stage fright. Well, fear of audiences, yeah. And it, he narrowed it down to two, phonophobia and topophobia. And I guess he just took a get. He said, I'll, I'll kick in the $32,000 that he would have lost if he was wrong you know, to the Ohio Library to make it up to them. But he guessed phonophobia and it was, and it was topophobia. Oh, wow. But he's, uh, he's very bright, Drew, and uh, too bad that he missed out on that. So anyway, yeah, that was uh, all this week. Celebrity Millionaire, a lot of fun. And wait till you see who we wind up with in the okay. chair. You're not going to believe it. Okay, Tina? Okay. All right, so here's your question. Yesterday's show what we What am I playing for? What are you... Oh, yes, <laughs> You make one little mistake around here, and everybody's jumping on your back. I'm still in my head. I'm here in my head. I'm hearing Delaney Rose Gelman. <laughs> Best of Broadway. That means a trip to New York to see our show. All right. And then we put you on a bus and send you home. No, you'll go to Phantom, Les Mis, Miss Saigon. We'll make a whole package for you, the best of Broadway, okay? Great, great. And you'll go see Kelly at uh, All My Children. Oh, that would that's, be always, that's always very exciting. She and La Lucci. <laughs> she and La Lucci are feuding right now over, oh, over this whole show. Over this whole thing. Don't say anything. That's okay. Right. So he, here's the question. Oh, wait, you have uh, 20 seconds and only one guess. All right. Yesterday, Rob Estes was on the show. We mentioned he worked with his wife, actress Josie Bissett, in a popular television series. Rob Estes, Josie Bissett, the name of that series is the question. My favorite show, Melrose Place. There you go, you got it. Well, congratulations, Tina. You and a guest will fly to New York City for a spectacular Big Apple vacation where you'll see three blockbuster Broadway shows, The Phantom of the Opera, Les Miserables, and Miss Saigon, legendary musical theater in a legendary town. Your prize is valued at $4,700. Well, congratulations, Tina. Now you can help a member of our studio audience win a $250 gift certificate to keywestseafood.com. So please pick a number between 1 and 111. My daughter was born May 9th. I'll go with number 9. You know what? All right, all right, lady, you'll get your seafood.com soon. We don't have an artist right now, you know what I mean? It'll be delivered to your house. We're good for it. Yeah, believe me, it'll get there in a couple of months. <laughs> now, you know, I had this major announcement, and the way it came out, of course, because all the emphasis is on Gelman. He's here on the show every day, and uh, the camera was on him. And I feel badly now. That I, that I said, Kelvin's going to be a daddy. Of course, Lori's going to be a mommy, too, you know? In fact, I would love to have, if it's all right with you, uh, Lori on the show tomorrow. Could I she come on and sit yeah. over there? Uh, It'd be fun. I'm sure she'd love to. Yeah? How's she feeling? Okay? She's feeling great. Yeah, we've been, we've been talking about this for a couple of weeks now, and uh, she looks great. And uh, pregnant women, there's a certain glow to pregnant women, you know? It's all that nausea. <laughs> it's, it's the sweat from vomiting. You know, you try, you try to be nice. You try to make everything sound like it's fun. It's all that nausea. It's, it's vomit. It's nausea. Can't you be nice? What happened to you, Kelly Ripper? When you came to be... I got pregnant. Don't, Twice now. Don't look at me, baby. <laughs> Emergency makeover is coming up. Yes, we're going to take care of uh, Greta Ruba here from Detroit. And Richard Hatch will be here with uh, his uh, survival tips. And coming up next, she just joined DR last mm -hmm. year. A big hit already. Maura Tierney. Tierney. We'll be right back in a moment. Still ahead on live, the ultimate survivor, Richard Hatch, returns with some tips on how to win a million dollars.
We continue with our week of emergency makeovers. And coming up next from ER, actress Maura Tierney. degrees right now in New York City and uh, partly cloudy, partly sunny day. Tomorrow on the show, and I'm getting a little <laughs> concerned about this, because for the last year or so, Gummin, I've had a little fun with his name, you know, but I can't stop. Ever since I saw him in Rob Roy, I, I developed a Scottish accent, and my favorite Scottish expression is Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. It just lends itself to that kind of an accent. So he's on the show tomorrow. I hope he's going to be all right. And Kara Sedgwick. Kara Sedgwick is going to be a great actress. Yep. An emergency makeovers continue, and Laurie Gelman will be here to uh, tell us how this happened. <laughs> And Kelly Ripper returns. Yeah. All right, now she's, a, uh, she's appeared in such hit movies as Liar Liar, Primary Colors. And uh, last winter, she joined the cast of the top-rated NBC series ER as Nurse Abby. Here's Maura Tierney. <laughs> face right there. Oh, yeah, beautiful. good to see you, Maura. So, how are you? I'm good. Good. I'm excellent. I'm here in New York. Why, why wouldn't you be excellent? There you are in ER, performing all those... Absolutely. And look, look behind lives. you. Does that remind you of anything? That's our emergency <laughs> makeover. Oh, right. We're going to lay you down there and really interview you. Really yeah. We were going to wheel you out. That's our emergency gross. makeover set over there. We make over people right there, right before your I eyes. I saw that. It, yes. it was impressive. How so where you are like you from? Boston. Boston. <laughs> Boston, Boston Irish, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. You're not related to Lawrence Tierney in any way, no. are you? No, okay, fine. Sometimes I say I am, but I'm not. You began your acting career up there? Mm, uh, really Los Angeles. Went right out to L.A., Yeah, huh? after college, yeah, yeah. No kidding. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a, a friend of mine uh, who is a friend really of my daughter's, roommate of my daughter's, an actress here in New York who went out to L.A., and it's tough to get an agent out there. Now, did yeah. you go out there and just nail one just like that? I sort of did. Really? Yeah. Because I was very ignorant. <laughs> How did you do this? I don't know. I was sort of unafraid because I was so young and I didn't know any better. So I just sort of plowed ahead and got lucky. I mean, knocked on the doors, lucky. went in and said, "Will you represent me?" Kind of, and which you... shocks me now. But yeah. And do you have the same agent now that you're a big movie st uh, TV uh, star? No. <laughs> <laughs> I got rid of. She that. left them. I moved on. <laughs> It's showbiz. Right, see what That's I mean? the key to a good agent. You gotta <laughs> drop them as soon as you get big. You, you drop the one you had, you move no, on. I've had the same manager though for 11 years actually. Manager too? Yeah. Listen she to was you. my, I do have the same agent. She was my agent. And then she I became a manager. About 11 manager. years I've been That's working good. with the same woman. She, yeah. She's paying, it's paying off yeah. obviously. So you're beginning to get recognized on the street. You just joined it last winter, I know. I but just joined it last winter, but it's a b very big difference. Because I was on TV on a news radio for yeah, five sure, years. Sure. But it's nothing like this. Like people. ER is like the top rated. It's drama. like shockingly right. different. But people aren't still quite sure who I am. They'll kind of stare at me and try to place me, and they're not quite sure. And if they ask, I'll go, oh, well. I'm on ER. Mm -hmm. And then in New York, people usually say, oh, well, I don't watch television. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, you play, you play a recovering alcoholic, right? Uh -huh. yeah. yes, because I do. I do, too. So when you go out for a drink, do you find people, people yell me. at you and say, <laughs> how about a drink, baby? true. They say, you shouldn't be drinking that. You know, that hasn't happened yet, but I bet it would. It I will. I can see that happening. Oh, yeah. prepare yourself. <laughs> <laughs> So what is this, uh, uh, you know, this business of everybody's uh, got to be a recovering alcoholic these days? I don't know. I think the writers are probably heavy drinkers. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Once They're they go projecting. to the program, they think that you should too. Yeah. So you went out there, you got an agent, you got a manager, you got a career going, and mm -hmm. you got a husband too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> How'd you meet him? I met him... Uh, I met him actually at the revolving lounge on top of the Holiday Inn in Hollywood. I've been there. Have you been? I have been it's there. It's cool, isn't oh, it? Oh, sure. It well, spins or have you ever been there? Yeah. I have it's not right been at the there. corner of Highland and Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly absolutely. where it is. So you went up there prowling around. I huh? was, yeah. <laughs> I was trolling for a husband. Yeah. No, no. I just, I, we, mutual friends introduced us, but in a landmark. Uh, sort of like a uh, blind date type of thing? No, it wasn't. I don't know. We just had mutual friends. Actually, it was his girlfriend at the time. It was a friend of mine. <laughs> oh, you tramp! I so can't, like, couldn't. Honest to God, you stole him away I from her. <laughs> Does that ever bother you at night? 
Huh? No, we were meant to be. Well, you figured it was Hollywood, so what the heck? I guess so. I was right. playing the game. <laughs> no, did you ever they hear broke what? up before we did. Oh, sure, right, they did. of course. Right. <laughs> you had nothing to do with it. If that makes you feel better, you say that. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Well, by it, well accepted. All right. Oh, this is so tough. So you did, a, you did a movie with your husband? I did, this and summer. What was that like? I, it was great. Like, both of you work with your spouses, yeah. too, all three of us. Right. I really enjoyed it. I, I thought, I mean... Yeah. There's a comfort level there, isn't there? There is, sure. yeah, because I trust him. Yeah. I mean, there was... I did insist, we were on location, however, that we have separate hotel rooms, which was smart, turned out to be, because you work 14 hours smart? a day. Yeah? You don't want together. him bothering you? Well, sort of, no. <laughs> you need a little tad of a break, yeah. you know, and he actually had to work much harder than I did. Because uh, okay. he directed so separate it hotel rooms. Yes. I got to keep that in mind. It, it's yeah. good. <laughs> this poor baby works with him all day and all then goes day. home. And I brought that up. Well, that's a good point, Maura. I brought that up when I first interviewed them years ago, mm -hmm. when they started out on the, these dual roles on uh, All My Children. And I said it might be a problem. And, you know, wow, it, you, and, and look what happened. The like problem is two babies in a row. <laughs> <laughs> I seem to be the only one, like, not pregnant around here. <laughs> Me and Richard Hatcher Don't drink pregnant. the coffee from the left. <laughs> Coffee now, on now, the, the left. Now we got Sally Field playing her mother, you know, in, I, a, in a new situation there on ER. What's that like? It was great. Yeah. She's wonderful. Really She's a wonderful. terrific lady. Yeah. Great woman, really. She, yeah, she is, is. And a wonderful actress, and it was a great experience. And she's a lot of fun, too. So. Now, she plays your mom, but she's not involved in the hospital work, is she? No, she's not. She shows up and sort of wreaks havoc on my personal and professional oh, life. Oh, one of those mothers, yes, huh? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's a nice twist. She can't twist. help it. Yeah. But. Well, let's take a look at you in action, okay? Okay. As a matter of fact, you and Sally, we have a clip. Okay. She shows up one night unexpectedly at the hospital, and here's a scene from tomorrow night's ER episode. <laughs> That's going to be a problem. <laughs> that could be a big problem for you, Ms. Tierney. All right, ER, you all know, of course, at 10 o'clock on NBC on Thursday nights. Maura, thank you for coming. It was really nice to meet you, and I hope you'll come back. Okay? Thanks. We'll be back with our emergency makeover in just a moment. Don't go away. Tomorrow on Live, actor Liam Neeson and actress Kira Sedgwick. Yes, day three of our emergency makeovers here. Christine Schwab back. She's in charge of the whole thing. Does a wonderful job on the first two. Thank you. We've been saving lives. You this did. Week. You yes. did really amazing Regis work on saving lives on our viewers. <laughs> and we've got a mother of four little ones under six years old. Yes. So oh. she, she has a tape and a letter that she sent us. Let's take a look. All right, good. Here's Greta Ruba from Detroit. Help! I'm a fashion disaster. First of all, my hair is like a bunch of limp noodles. <laughs> Every day is a bad hair day. My wardrobe consists of nothing but big, frumpy t-shirts and sweats. I have four kids, all under age seven. So needless to say, I have no time for me. Why bother putting on makeup or getting dressed up? Just to change diapers, feed the kids, do laundry and everything else. I just want to feel good about myself and the way I look. I need help, quick, fast, and in a hurry. I'll tell you that, right? We did. We've got the operating room ready for her. We specialize in quick, fast, and in a hurry around here. Right. We'll be back with the transformation of Rita Ruba in just a moment. Friday on Live from the new film Bounce, Academy Award winner Gwyneth Paltrow. And still ahead on Live from Survivor Richard Hatch. Uh, a makeover right now, but first, you know, the husband is here, too. Benjamin and baby Martin, that's the youngest little baby in their life. Now, Benjamin, I want you to go out the door, and when I call you back, you'll see her, okay? It'll be okay. a big surprise. Great. All right, fine. You go out there, and now we're going to get the ambulance. Gilda, get We've those ambulances get rolling. Ambulance let's go. Let's start our, our emergency makeover. Okay, the ambulance is going to come go. and get her. Now, you know, a mother of four, she has no time for herself. She's always carrying around a baby with another one hanging on her skirt. Oh, she had a hard time getting in the ambulance without the children following her. But there she is, ready for her surgery. She just, you know, she says she has less than 20 minutes to herself all day long. Can't do anything with her hair. Lives in sweats, lives in tennis shoes, hasn't had nylons on for a long time. Let's do the surgery. Put our team to work. There they go.
Look at you. Check it out. Wow. Well, that's great. That's the best one yet. Let's put those glasses on. Oh, put the glasses yeah. on? Yeah. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring up, oh. we're going to bring up Benji. I want you to stand right over All right. here. All right. Surprise. Right like that. You are so gorgeous. Hey, Benji. <laughs> Come on out. I can't believe it. <laughs> Check it out, baby. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There, there you go. What do you think? Hey. <laughs> what do you think, Rita? You love it. I love it. Oh, uh, you look real terrific. We added, we added some hair extensions. So split the screen. Take off those glasses and take a look at that gorgeous, gorgeous. face. Hair extensions, One good. Yeah. Me so long. We made her hair longer, and we gave her. I think she's going to be the fourth Charlie's Angels. I think we so did a little too. glitter on those eyes. Makes it really Meanwhile, sexy. Look at the way Benji is looking at her. <laughs> on how to do the glitter for that Charlie's Angels look are on our yeah, website that's... today. Great outfit from Bloomingdale's. Let's take this coat off. She's very, very sleek. Turtleneck sweaters, a split skirt, and ladies' fishnets are so sexy. Uh -huh. Right, Benji? Yeah. Look at those fishnet nylons. <laughs> okay. This is that's all great. from Bloomingdale's. Yeah. Bloomingdale's. Good job, Bloomingdale's. We're going we're gonna to take a look at the before picture now. The before split picture, the screen, And there she and is. There she is. Now, does she? No. There's only one problem, Gilman. There's only one problem. Now we got to make over Benji. <laughs> <laughs> Greta, thank you very, very thank much, you. darling. Thanks for writing us. Good luck. You're benching the best to you, okay? We we'll be back with Richard Hatch in just a moment. For more information on anything on live, please visit our website. Live will return in a moment. Was co host on our show, and uh, the man 50 million people tuned in to watch. Uh, he won the one million dollars, you recall, on the hit series Survivor. His Richard Hatch. <laughs> How are you, big guy? Good to see you. Look at you. Yeah, it's Richard. Very handsome. Very nice. You know, Rich, she's awfully pretty, but what happened to our chemistry? <laughs> That's right. I, you know. Richard wanted the job, too, you know. You're not the only one. Well, forget him. I'm mad at Richard because I, uh, I lost a bet with my husband. I, I, was, uh, I was betting on Kelly Wigglesworth because I, I felt that she had a big enough cross to bear with her name. <laughs> and I thought that she should get the million dollars because of it. And my husband bet on Sorry, hon, she I didn't have a chance. <laughs> Mark called that right away. <laughs> Smart man. So bring us up to date. What's all been happening? to you since uh, the series? Well, um, uh, lots of fun things. I wrote the stuff. book, first wrote of all, the book. yeah. To pass on good advice to other people. I hope it's good advice. We'll, we'll see what people have to say. Okay, uh, how to make a million dollars, lose 100 pounds, and just plain live happily. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Okay, good enough. Now, how happy are you? I'm happy. I get to do some fun things. I saw you guys at the uh, opening of the Full Monty. That's that was right. A fantastic good, play. Good seats for the Broadway show. Absolutely. Super show. Super show. I, uh, I got the feeling you were dying to jump up on stage and make it to the six Monty guys, right? <laughs> <laughs> I contained myself. I tried. I tried. <laughs> so and, let's uh, go over. So yeah, what else? Went to the Emmys. Uh, that was a lot of fun. I, uh, Ray Romano was running around with his family, kind of taking pictures of me. He's an awesome guy. Yeah. But they all wanted pictures of me. What the well, heck? Well, of course. Isn't that great? You're famous so now. So weird. That's then bizarre. You went to Australia and uh, played the, the Billionaire Show I, over there. I did, I did. And how, <laughs> you didn't do very well. Oh, it was awful. You know, we have, we have a little clip. I guess the questions were a little, are a little tougher over there. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, boy. we got up to uh, $500, right? Yeah, Take a look at this. Here's the Billionaire Show from Australia. They what were. is 11 multiplied by 12? A, 111. Get familiar. B, 121. C, 123. What's D, 132. C. Lock and C. Lock and C, 123. <laughs> it's locked in. Oh, no, for crying out loud. <laughs> D. Okay. Yeah, it's D. You were the first person to win Survivor. And the, and the first person to go out in straight sets on who With wants to be the With all three lifelines. <laughs> Eliminated 
with three lifelines. That's what happened to Richard Axe. And the question is, what's 11 times 12? Uh, Figure it out. Can you just use your Two, hands? Two, three, four. And, you know. We'll come back with Richard. Give you some tips. <laughs> Friday at Live R&B Singing. 101 survival secrets. All right, so, number one secret is... Quit your pathetic job. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, if, if you think it's pathetic, it is pathetic, right? Absolutely, I mean, think about that. If you're, if you're going to work every day thinking that what you're doing is pathetic, then stop doing it. Imagine mm -hmm. what that's doing to you. Yeah. And people think they're taking a chance or it's too risky or they can't do it. It's taking a chance and it's too risky not to do it. You've done this? You've quit your job? Over More the... times than I can count. All right. <laughs> you know, I think people are curious as to how I got to where I am, how I won the show, mm -hmm. how, I'm, how I seem so happy with who I am. And, and it's because of that, taking chances and, and trying to learn who I am. All right, give me another tip. Oh, gosh, um, make mistakes quickly and make <laughs> lots of them. Keep making mistakes. And every time you, you, you try something, you, you learn. Sure. And whether you learn that the way you used to do it was good or the new way is good, you're still learning. All righty, mm -hmm. one more. How about stop pretending? <laughs> Um, in fact, uh, you know, when people are being polite, they're being dishonest most often. So stop pretending and be honest with people. You'll end up getting more honest responses. These are all really quick tips and things like that, but there's a little bit more to them in the book. Sure, of course. And it's just about being happy. The bottom right. line is, how do you become happy? I where, don't think many where are you are. living now? Where did you finally New, wind up? Newport, Rhode Newport. Island. Back to Newport, Rhode Island. Yeah, I'll always all be right, there. All right, fine. We've got to pause again. We'll come back with Richard in just a second. Monday on Live from How the Grinch Stole Christmas, comedian Molly Shannon. Catholic High School Football Championship to be held this Saturday. There's Monsignor Farrell's team from Staten Island. Thank you guys and good luck to you. All right. Rich is uh, off to the speaking of that going to the Super Bowl this year and going to have a good time there. Rich, thank you very, very much. The name of the book again, 101 Survival Secrets. See you captioning sponsored in go on live kelly ripper returns liam neeson and kira sudgwick and another emergency makeover uh.